In the last countdown video, we talked about the roughest coasters I've ever ridden. But what about these smooth ones? There is a whole batch of glossy smooth coasters I've ridden, and in this video, I wanted to highlight the top 15 smoothest. Now, unlike the last video about rough coasters, this one will not be in any particular order. I don't know what it is, but I find it much easier to rank coasters by shakiness than by smoothness. Just know that all 15 coasters on this list are about as comfortably smooth as they come. Also keep in mind that this is almost completely thrill rides, because by default, most tamed down family coasters are going to be pretty smooth. Okay, and one more thing, before we dive into the list, I'd love it if you can consider subscribing to the channel. And as well as that, feel free to drop a like on the video as well. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are the top 15 smoothest coasters I've run in, starting with an honorable mention. For my one honorable mention in this video, I wanted to briefly talk about Cheetah Hunt at Busch Gardens Tampa. As nitpicky as this may be, I do recall the panoramic tree element to be a bit rattly. The rest of the ride, however, is absolutely perfectly smooth, so I just wanted to throw it in here as an honorable mention. Truthfully, the only reason why it doesn't make the list is because the 15 coasters on here have not a single moment of shakiness to be found. So now that we have that clear, let's get right into the actual list. Number 15, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad at Disneyland. Like I said, I'm not ranking these rides all too much, but if I were, Thunder Mountain would rank in the top three. This ride is literally as smooth as it gets, so I thought it would be appropriate to start it off with this coaster. There is not any sense of shakiness or even the most slight vibration anywhere to be found. All it is is glossy smooth tracking, fun laterals, and some good airtime, forming one of the best mine train coasters I've ever ridden. Number 14, Fahrenheit at Hershey Park. I often hear that Fahrenheit has a rattle, so you could imagine my thoughts when I came off and thought it tracked like Maverick at Cedar Point. This thing is glossy smooth from the second you disengage with that lift hill all the way until you hit the final brake run. Partially, this was one of the things that really made Fahrenheit memorable for me. Not that I'd have a problem with the slightest of a rattle, but it was reassuring to ride for myself and realize the truth. Of course, this can and will vary depending on the day, but from my experience with Fahrenheit, it was everything I was hoping for and more. Number 13, Wooden Warrior at Quasi. While I only walked away with one ride on Wooden Warrior, all I can remember is just how smooth this family gravity group coaster ran through its layout. I remember thinking that this was one of the smoothest woodies I'd ever ridden when I came off, as it's really nothing short of comfortable and glass smooth. And I'll admit, I was a little surprised too. Apparently, not all of the family gravity group coasters are like this. I'm not exactly sure what the park is doing to maintain this ride as flawlessly as they are, but whatever it is, I hope they keep it up. Number 12, Hydras at Casino Pier and Adrenaline Peak at Oaks Park. These two Gerslauer Eurofighter clones are spectacular, comfortable attractions. Plus, they are perfect for their designated parks. In my opinion, you could have not found a better fit for the tiny footprint on a New Jersey pier and the old plot of Looping Thunder nestled right by downtown Portland. As well as being great rides though, these rides are also impeccably smooth. Matter of fact, I think I forgot just how smooth Adrenaline Peak rode because when I got around to riding Hydrus, the memories I had from the smooth and exciting layout came right back to me. If you haven't been on one of these Lap Bar 320 models, I would highly recommend it. Number 11, Talon at Doherty Park. While just about every B&M inverted coaster I've ridden is smooth, I personally found Talon to be the absolute smoothest. Ever since my first rides in 2018, I have always thought that this was one of the smoothest B&Ms to date. And riding it again in 2020 just proved my point furthermore. I had an absolute blast on this thing both times, and part of the reason was because it is so dang smooth. As much as it may take away from the powerful bite of other B&M inverts, it's really a whole lot of fun feeling like you're gliding on a cloud. Number 10, Laugh Track at Hershey Park. I'm not sure what it is about Laugh Track, but more so than the other Mauer spinning coasters, this one takes Glossy Smooth to the next level. I still think that the others outside of their mid-course break run transitions are smooth also, but I really cannot stress how remarkably gentle Laugh Track's tracking feels. Maybe it's because you're indoors or something, but that breeze you get with the sense of smoothness really makes Laugh Track very enjoyable. Even though this ride does get overshadowed by the rest of the park's coaster collection, it's still undeniably a fun ride to me. Number 9, Steel Force at Dorney Park. As with all the other Morgan hypercoasters I've ridden, Steel Force is so, so smooth. It's almost hard to describe what it feels like riding one of these things, but the way Morgan coasters ride is so different but so freaking smooth at the same time. While some could make the argument that the way these ride take away from the experience, it's still something that you've got to appreciate. I've ridden a couple of not so smooth hypers, so this is very reassuring in my opinion. Definitely get around to riding one of these to understand what I'm talking about. Number 8, Select B&M Hyper Coasters. While I picked out Talon in the list of B&M inverts I've ridden, I just had to lump the B&M Hypers together. Two of the four I've currently ridden are about as remarkably smooth and comfortable as it comes. Those two rides are Mako at SeaWorld Orlando and Candemonium at Hershey Park. 
The two that didn't make the cut are Nitro at Six Flags Great Adventure and Behemoth at Canada's Wonderland. The latter is actually my favorite ride of the B&M Hyper genre, but I still can't deny that it comes with a bit of shakiness in the valleys. And I think most of us can agree that Nitro isn't the smoothest either. But as far as Mako and Candemonium go, it's just great. So much sustained airtime and several bank turns that are super easy to enjoy thanks to how these wonderful rides track through their layout. Number 7, Leviathan at Canada's Wonderland. I was originally going to lump Leviathan into the spot dedicated to B&M hypers, but I felt that I could easily talk about just how smooth the original B&M Giga was. Because of the ride's sheer sense of speed, the valley at the bottom of the first drop shuffles just slightly, but other than that, 95% of the ride experience remains beyond acceptable in terms of smoothness. I really found that outside of that one valley, it's one of the smoothest B&Ms in the world. You absolutely feel like you're gliding on a cloud at a ridiculously fast speed, if you will. Leviathan is such a great ride at such a great park, you guys have to check it out. Number 6, the Axis Prototype at the SNS Worldwide Facility in Utah. When I rode this last year, I came off raving about its powerful air launch, its unique flipping technology, and its overwhelming potential as a coaster model. But one thing I haven't talked much about is how perfectly glossy smooth this thing ran. It's actually crazy to me what SNS and Intermount Lift are capable of doing together. They really do make a great team, and the way that Axis Coaster tracks is just a testament to that. Number 5, Full Throttle at Six Flags Magic Mountain. With the exception of one oddball ride I had on Full Throttle in 2019 where it was for some reason shaky, the ride remains one of the smoothest and most comfortable coasters in the state. I love the little lap bar restraints even if the train as a whole is tight and cramped. It really enables the ride to provide that comforting experience which perfectly complements the coaster's typically glossy smooth ride experience. It seems like many people do talk about this one being smooth, but it's really true. Full Throttle on a good day, which is just about every day for this ride, is one of the the smoothest coaster experiences you can find. Number 4, Flying Turns at Knobles. Excluding the short yet violent sections that align the train with lift hills and brake runs and stuff, I easily stand by Flying Turns being the smoothest wooden coaster I've ever been on. Even compared to other bobsled coasters I've ridden, it just blows my mind how smooth this coaster is. I mean, it's not like I'd expect anything less from Knobles. They do an amazing job maintaining their rides, and this one is no exception at all. It's another one that's a bit hard to explain though, especially because it's the only wooden bobsled coaster operating in the world right now. But when you ride the spectacular classic coaster, I think you'll understand what I'm talking about. Number 3, Maverick at Cedar Point. Talk about a ride that just hasn't shown its age. Maverick is, without a doubt, one of the top three smoothest all-steel coasters I've ever ridden. On rare occasions, I do hear people complaining about a rattle as with Fahrenheit, and it really leaves me scratching my head. I've ridden this thing about a dozen times so far in my life, and every single time it's been as smooth as can be. Which, by the way, is such a wonderful compliment to the intense sequencing and fast-paced nature of this ride. Maverick is such an amazing coaster, and absolutely it deserves a high spot when it comes to my ranking of smoothest coasters. Number 2, RMC Hybrid Coasters. I'm sure all of you saw this one coming. From Steel Vengeance to Iron Rattler, Twisted Colossus to Twisted Timbers, and even the original New Texas Giant, it seems that all RMC iBox coasters are about as smooth as it gets. I don't often hear the same thing about their topper track models, and take it from experience that Wonder Woman Golden Lasso coaster wasn't nearly as smooth as many made it out to be. It just seems to be that iron horse design that RMC has been consistently knocking it out of the park with. Aside from being a phenomenal world-class experience, all of these coasters absolutely have a claim to fame and sheer smoothness. These rides are all master pieces and I could not recommend them more. Number 1, Phantom's Revenge at Kennywood. It's almost hard to believe that a hyper coaster can run this smooth. I've even said in past videos that it may be a little bit too smooth and I still stand by it. It's nothing to complain about of course, but wow it's mind boggling. Imagine a ride with a max speed of nearly 90 miles per hour and with some of the most disorienting ejector airtime transitions in the world while still being one of the smoothest rides ever, and that's Phantom's Revenge. And what's even more impressive is that Morgan Manufacturing was able to transform such a ride. The general consensus about the original steel Phantom built by Aerodynamics was that it was an incredibly rough aero coaster. So I have to say, hats off to Morgan for figuring this one out. It's honestly proof that new trains can do a ride wonders, as can it also ruin a ride. But still, Phantom's Revenge shows that this is absolutely true. What a great coaster. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you made it to this point, I would love it if you can consider subscribing to the channel and maybe even liking the video if you found it interesting. Also, feel free to drop a comment below about the smoothest coasters you've obtained over time. I'm sure there's many rides I've not ridden that are just as smooth as the ones I've mentioned in my list. But with that being said, that's just about going to wrap things up. I hope you all enjoyed and stay tuned for a future video about the smoothest wooden coasters I've been on. Bye everyone.